I am living in the middle of some bold prayers that have been answered. I love that James 5, 16 says that it is the persistent prayers of a righteous man, woman, person that availeth much. Okay, and let me tell you something. I am so excited to share this with you because we're just living in the, the newness of it. But uh, my husband and I embarked on church planning, which as some of y'all know, about two years ago. And we have been homeless. We've been like the wandering tribe of Israel. I mean, we've been going to different venues and then the pandemic, coronavirus. I mean, Rona just kicked our butt. So we were freaking out. And I remembered this prayer. And I think that God answered my prayers because he was tired of hearing me, okay? So my prayers avail with much. But let me tell you something. We, God has blessed our church, the Father's House, Orange County, with 50 thousand square feet in Orange County, California. And I firmly believe it is because what Miss Lori kicked off this episode, she said that we have not because we ask not, or Jesus even said, hey, ask and ye shall receive. You guys, I don't know why I'm like King James today, but all these these and thous, I don't know. But let me tell you something. We have not because we ask not. And I am, I, I want us to just put a praise on it. I want us to testify what God is doing when we pulled, when we pray bold prayers. Sometimes we ask God for a sign and then we, we use it metaphorically like, oh, please God, give me a sign. And then there's sometimes where he actually gives us a sign. And so to, to whittle down a story, I, I shared this, the church planning journey has just been an adventure, especially in a pandemic. But uh, when we were at the height of like not having a venue and people in our church were getting COVID and it was just a really rough season. One Sunday night, I just felt very defeated and I went to bed. I'm gonna try not to get emotional. When you hear the pain of God's people and nothing looks hopeful, you've got to be people of faith that believe that God cares, that he sees and he knows, just like he promised to the children of Israel when they were under the oppression of Pharaoh. And so I went to bed that night and I said, God, I'm going to believe that you're going to make a way where there is no way. And on Monday morning, I want to say that I woke up filled with the spirit and totally chipper, but I was just sad. I had a bad attitude and I rolled over onto my husband's chest and I just started crying. And I said, it's not for lack of effort. It's not for lack of trying. It's not for the lack of preaching the gospel and explaining the gospel and expounding on the gospel and worshiping the Lord and giving and tithing. We have sown, we have tilled, we have uprooted the weeds. We have done everything as church planters that we are called to do. And yet, if there is no rain, our labor is in vain. We, have, we cannot manufacture a move of God. You cannot manipulate a move of God. Man cannot manufacture. So spirit of God, you're gonna have to send rain because in this season, it is a proverbial drought and we need to know that you are a God who hears our cries. And um, so we prayed prayers and that day, y'all, I can't make this up, hand to heaven. I cannot make this up. That day, my husband went to go see a venue and he texted me from the venue and he said, B, I think that this is a place that we can like put in a bid for. And the, I went to the natural, we can't afford it. We don't have the money. The rent is four times what we can afford. But I went there to the venue and I walked into the living room, the lobby, it was a movie theater. So I walked into what we refer to as a living room and as I'm looking around at this amazing space, I turn to, I turn to uh, the right and there's this beautiful painting of Gene Kelly in the 1952 American classic, Singing in the Rain. And you guys, I did not hear an audible voice, but I heard a voice in my heart say, this is the rain. And I just feel like when we pray bold prayers, God is so faithful to answer them, whether it's parking spots, whether it's home decor, whether it's children's health, or whether it's a church building, God is a God who answers. And we have not because we ask not. So let's be women and men of faith who are daring to believe God is who he says he is, can do what he says he can do, and will keep the promises because our God is faithful. I started the show with God answering some bold prayers, which has been amazing. Uh, but the day that we got into our new church building, we also discovered that the house that my husband and I rent here in Orange County uh, was being sold and the owners didn't tell us. So we're at church celebrating and then we get a phone call saying, hey, there's people at the house, <laughs> at your house for an open house. 
and we were just confused. So we, it, it's this tension of like, God's going to answer, God's going to answer his prayers and his timeline, but I never want to be, I never want to stop asking and believing. So even listening to Havla's story right. about God providing in supernatural ways, this is the beauty of bold prayers. It's not just that God answers mm -hmm. our prayers, is that our stories, our testimony inspire the faith of others. So I sit in the wake of your guys' yes. stories and it bolsters my faith. Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.